Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a final part to this what if, and that is, what if Naruto travelled to the past? Final part. Now as usual guys, if you guys can please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content, and check, my, check me out on Instagram, you know, I'll leave the link down in the description down below. And on that guys, when it comes to COVID-19, take care of your guys selves, okay? Because your health matters most. I know the world's starting to ease out, starting to plateau in New Zealand. Good on you, Aotearoa. Great, you guys are doing good. But to the rest of the world, aroha to you all. Like, please take care of your guys selves, okay? And not only that, guys. Um, sorry about the audio on my last video when it comes to the What If Rain Survived Part 1. For some reason, I recorded it and it sounded great on my computer. But when I uploaded it, it sounded like crap. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to re-upload it and to check if it's actually the um, the upload or not. If not, then I'll just make part two and make sure that it's better, okay? But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with the part two thing. So yeah, I apologize guys. And I'll make sure I'll do better next time, okay guys? Sorry, sorry. But yeah, without further ado guys, let's get into this final part of this what if, and that is what if Naruto traveled to the past? Final part. Now let's begin. So let's do a quick recap on what happened previously and then jump into the next part of this what if, okay guys? So what ended up happening around the time when uh, the well the kage wars let's just state that naruto easily beat them well showed them and knowing that um, naruto captured black setsu now over the period of time of having black setsu naruto acquired a, a white setsu body which he amplified using orochimaru science to allow for naruto to use his plan now and so what when naruto um got the ample opportunity to do so, he summoned all the Kages to his area and he used his ability to um, copy uh, the Suchi Kage's ability to fragment to copy a piece of both Nagato's eyes, he re-healed Nagato's eyes so it was like nothing happened and then Naruto puts that part of that chakra of those Renegon into that Zetsu and so when he, and not only that, he places half of the ten tails that he, re he, re he recently recreated into that Zetsu and then place Black Zetsu on that Zetsu and then from there Kaguya came out. Now, what ends up happening is Naruto strikes a deal. He puts a, a, a certain control Reaper Death Seal to Kaguya's seal so she can never go against Naruto and them. And so, what? Well, and because her body was dying, she merged with Hinata, and from there, she explains everything when it comes to um, Ishiki and how things um, had progressed. And from there, um, the story moves forward to the point where Naruto the last, where they go, Naruto and Hinata both go to the moon. They talk to Teneri and show him everything, and Naruto gives him a piece of um, the Ten Tails as well, and Hamura's Chakra. He merges it, and what happens is Teneri gets the Ten Seigon, and he rules over the moon, where Naruto rules over the earth pretty much with his wife. Now, as the future um, goes into the Boruto series, everyone around the world is much more stronger, much more powerful. No one, no village is more powerful than the Hidden Leaf, though. That's the one thing I can guarantee. Now, the three legendary signings of the world are pretty much perceived as the legends of all the world because Jiraiya's books are sold everywhere, um, Tsunade's medical teachings are everywhere, and Orochimaru's science is everywhere, okay? Now, what happens is, after the Uchiha being alive and Naruto teaching the entire Hidden Leaf village how to use the flying Raijin, that pretty much becomes one of the main staples of the Hidden Leaf, not even just fire style. Um, so what happens is the Uchiha police force don't just police force the Hidden Leaf, they actually help um, police force all over the um, entire Land of Fire and um, neighboring villages, you know, helping out because all the um, ninja nations are all one, you know. And so that transpires with them. And when it comes to, um, what's it called, Boruto, he was born with two Jogons and both one and one eye, both eyes, okay. So he pretty much has his Jogon abilities at birth. And Himawari is going to be powerful, but I'll, I'll touch upon it soon in the sense of the story. Now, as, as the story transpires all the way to the tuning exams, okay, um, Boruto and Sarada fight, and it's an epic battle where Boruto wins, and um, Minsuski 
has the epic battle with Shinken, but Minsuki still wins. So as all of the as Boruto and Minsuki are getting ready for their match, both Naruto, Sasuke, and Hinata can sense the Yosuzukis that are approaching Earth. But he, them, th th these three are not the only ones that can sense them, because Teneri has a Tensei Gon and pretty much six paths uh, abilities thanks to having Hamada's chakra. He's able to keep, completely block off the Yosuzukis from coming near him. They have to physically fly there, so um, um, Teneri hid his presence. And when the, the Yosuzukis arrive and try to, and, and they try to attack Naruto, but Naruto and Sasuke are just too powerful. And when Ishiki tries, to, um, 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 Urushiki tries to attack, um, um, Teneri comes and instantly bodies him. And what happens is when Momoshiki, Kenshiki, and Urushiki get out of their created areas and they they prepare themselves in shock and horror to what they what they see, is they see a, a, a resurrected kind of Kaguya and her two sons and the descendant of Kaguya, Sasuke and this buzzes them out because all they remember is the main protocol is they can't hurt the, Osuzu or the Osuzuki race so from there we're gonna begin our story <laughs> so let's begin so as Naruto stands there Naruto goes I know exactly who you guys are what you guys represent and what you're here for and Momoshiki goes Kaguya what do you do have you done why haven't you cultivated this world? Why didn't you call this up? Where is Ishiki? And, Mom, and, and, and what happens is um, Kaguya floats. Um, so it's by Naruto because I'm, I'm um, Hinata part, but just states, "I'm done with this. I'm done with this war. I'm done with this endless destruction. I'm just over it. Why kill races and take when we can live on worlds? Let God trees grow and live on these worlds. You know." And Momoshiki's like, ha, and interbreed with these sickening little creatures? What the hell is wrong with you, Princess Kaguya? And then Kaguya looks up and goes, that's exactly it, Momoshiki. I am Princess Kaguya Otsusuki. And she, and she looks right at him and she goes, so if I was you, I would lower my voice. And what happens is Kenshiki is about to defend Momoshiki, but Naruto goes, enough of this. Explain. What's your reason again? Because I know exactly why you're here, but explain your reason. Because I can tell you right now, Momoshiki, you will not get your damn karma seal on anyone this time. And Momoshi looks at Naruto and goes, How the hell do you know all about karma? And this time, and then ponders and then opens Momoshiki's mind and goes, You used a time turtle to tra travel, didn't you? Naruto winks his eye and this pisses off Momoshiki. He goes, how the hell did you find and you find one of those? They're very rare. Naruto goes, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you nothing. Naruto walks over, he's fully powered and he goes, let's see. Practically, we're the Otsusukis of Earth, as you just said, right? Can you kill one of your clan members? I wonder. And what happens is Momoshiki is really angry. Really angry. And, and Naruto explains, for you to regrow another god tree on this world, the life of me, Sasuke, Teneri, and my wife Hinata will take you out, meaning you'll be going to war with your own kind. So how will this justify anything? Hmm? Momoshiki and Urushiki and Kinshiki are just taken aback, like they're at a loss. They didn't expect any Otsusuki, even Teneri, like they would have been fine with him, but they didn't expect this these powerful beings, these four powerful beings standing right in front of them. Sasuke looks at Naruto and contacts him using his Renegon. Naruto goes, I understand. And Sasuke goes, pulls the sword and goes, Shall we continue this fight, big man? Walks over to tell King Shiki. King Shiki pulls out his blade and he goes, You little creature, you think you're gonna catch me off guard again? And Sasuke goes, huh. Then he instantly blitzes into lightning and kicks um, Kenshiki right through the stadium area. Kenshiki just flies straight into the arena. Sasuke instantly heads out like a bolt of lightning. The moment this goes down, um, um, Udashiki try, um, um, tries to chuck um, one of his um, his fish hooks into Naruto. But what ends, what ends up happening is Tenari um, shoots a two second orbit and smacks it away. And then he does Silver Wind Reverse Explosion. That sends Teneri fly, um, Teneri, um, Urushiki flying away. And, and Teneri goes, I have him, Naruto. Naruto smiles. And what happens is Momoshiki's on the ground. He's like, <laughs> and 
and I have to walk over. So I guess you're fighting me now, Lord Momoshiki. <laughs> and Momoshiki, without hesitating, slams the ground and begins to summon monsters. But Naruto is too fast and blitzes right in front of him and punches Momoshiki straight at the arena. And as Naruto does this, a lot of the arena, a lot of the arena got damaged in the blink of an eye. All, no one, everyone just saw a bunch of people in the middle of the arena, and the destruction just happened. That's how fast and powerful the battle is. But luckily for them, Minato, the Raikage, and nearly all the Uchiha can use the Flying Raijin, so they're pretty fast. Well, all the ma nearly majority of Hidden Leaf Shinobi can, so you know, it was much easier for them to duck and dodge and get away from all this. And so, what happens is, <clears throat> as um, Tanari is fighting Urushiki, Urushiki is really clever, very smart getting around Tanari. And unfortunately for Tanari, he does not have a seal to protect him from Urushiki's hook. And so as the battle commences then Urashiki has to re resort straight away to using his re his own Renegon abilities, his time space abilities to get around. And I'm not going to um, downplay Teneri, he's powerful, especially with his Tensei gone. He's able to catch Urashiki before he can do anything. But the only thing that is difficult is to his abil um, um, Urashiki's ability to see the future briefly. And this hampers Teneri hard. He tries to use his true secret orbs and ability, but, but Urashiki absorbs them. He, he begins to... He does his best to grab them and eat them, you know, it's not impossible to, for him to grab the chakra. But what happens is, as um, Teneri bus is about to go fully full powers, he goes straight into his full power mode with all his true seeking orbs. But right as he does that, he blinks just for a moment for Teneri uh, to get caught by a hook of Udashiki. And as Udashiki puts the hook in Teneri's gut, he says, hmm, wonder how much chakra I pull from you. He pulls some chakra, and as he pulls a lot of chakra out, Teneri instantly collapses, and he, he barely, like, <sighs> He's barely breathing at all, and as um, Urashiki that does, um, um, doesn't wait, he grabs all that chakra and he begins to eat it. And as he begins to eat it, he transforms into that stupid form he transforms to in the canon arc. We well in the, the anime series when Boruto and Naruto fight in the past, they, um, he turns into that one, but a fully version with both Renegon still on his hands. He has both the Renegons on his hands because he doesn't need to eat the eyes um, like he does in canon, or well, in the anime anyway. But what happens is, uh, as he does so, he, he, he leaves Teneri there because he understands that um, they're not a kill. The Osasuki, so he freezes Teneri in that, that, that dragon or that, that prison of 10,000 whatever winters. Um, and freezes him there and he goes over to where Sasuke's fighting Kinshiki. Now, the fight between Sasuke and Kinshiki is amazing. Like, they're blitzing around the entire um, boundaries of the Hidden Leaf um, Village's, um, what's it called, main wars. And as their battles echoing everywhere, it's just such an amazing sight. Red streaks going everywhere, and Sasuke blue lightning, blitzing everywhere, everywhere. And Kinshiki can't get a space, can't get gap from Sasuke. And as Sasuke is, is cutting up, um, 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 Kinshiki's body cutting his arms and his legs. At that time, um, Urashiki comes comes in and begins to attack Sasuke. So Sasuke stuck with fighting two of them, uh, evolved version of Urashiki with his Renegon. And Kinshigan, Kinshiki, you know, like Sasuke getting pushed pretty, um, getting pushed back pretty bad, until the point where Sasuke has had enough, and he fully summons his Susanoo. And when he summons his Susanoo, he pushes them away. Um, Kinshiki, uh, Kinshiki uses the time to throw chakra rods right through Sasuke's Susanoo. And as he chucks chakra rods through Sasuke's Susanoo, um, what happens? Uh, um, Urashiki also throws a hook right into Sasuke, and the hook goes right through the Susanoo and stabs Sasuke's gut. And then Sasuke gets stabbed right in the gap. Um, but, um, Urashiki pulls out the chakra, and as he rips out Sasuke's chakra, he holds a purple orb on his hook, and Sasuke falls to the ground, completely exhausted. He collapses on the ground, and as as Sasuke is almost about to die by um, um, Kinshiki, Itachi flies over with his perfect Susanoo, takes a gigantic swipe, hitting um, Kinshiki flying away. And what happens is, and as he does that, um, um, Urashiki eats the chakra of Sasuke and instantly gets really really strong fast he gets even more stronger now stupidly ridiculously strong and he, and he t begins to ruthlessly attack Itachi but thanks to Itachi, Itachi having the Yada mirror on the Susanoo he instantly summons it and, and what happens is Urashiki is just trying to smash through it but it doesn't work he's like hmm this negates all nature abilities of chakra right hmm okay then then without hesitating um, Urashiki um, begins to strain all Itachi's chakra using his Renegon. And as um, Itachi is about to slam 
The Tulsuka blade into Urushiki. Kinshiki comes with his, his giant axe and slams it right into Itachi Susano, completely cracking it and sending him flying. And as um, Kinshiki is breathing, he looks at Sasuke and goes, <laughs> Now I can kill this punk. And as he walks over, Sasuke, um, um, Sasuke is about to die fully from Kinshiki because he's just drained. But Sarada comes on the way and she goes to defend her father straight away. She stands there with, with her, with her um, kunai and she has a three Thomas Shine Gun. And what happens is, as um, Sarada stays there protecting Sasuke, what ends up happening is Boruto opens a time space barrier between him and, and Sarada, swapping places with her, and then Boruto summons a real powerful Rasengan. Puts it in Kinshiki's gut and slams it and throws him away straight away. And as Kinshiki looks at Boruto, he sees it. Sees it. He goes, Jokon. And Boruto goes, hmm. So you know what these are? And he grabs um, um he grabs Sarada and teleports them away and Sasuke's body away to where Sakura is. And they're all in. They're all underground hiding, by the way. And as uh, Fugaku gets all the um um all the hidden leaf members out. Uh, Fugaku's in a, a Susano state, so he's pretty much holding the gates until Sasuke or someone more powerful comes to help out. But when they see when um, Fugaku sees Boruto open the portal and hold Sasuke on his shoulders, he understands it's serious. So he calls all Uchiha that have Eternal Mongekyo to come forth. Uh, there's one thing I failed to make, um, bring up in the uh, backstory. Um, Naruto um, got rid of the curse of the Mongekyo, so all the Uchiha bloodlines now, they just have to evolve the Mongekyo just th through hard, sheer, determined work, you know? Like hard work, and not um, he removes the um, the creed or the emotional barrier when it comes to the Sharing Gun. Naruto does that so he can help out and gets takes away the um, the, the the cycle of pain for the Uchiha. So the Uchiha either can um, awaken the Sharing Gun at an anger or word of love, just like I said, it does. And so, what happens is um, about five more Uchiha they have the Mon the eternal Mongeku instantly develop into their Susanos. Some of them barely have armor, that some of them only have skeletons, so the skeleton ones stay close to the gate and the other ones they have at least arrows and swords stay a little bit foot in front to protect everyone. And as everyone gets into the um into the barrier, Minato and uh, tells Fugaku and them come in, what's they doing? They, they seal the um the um, shelter area and Minato puts the barrier upon them. And as that goes down, everyone's safe within um their hideout anyway. Um, what's it called? Naruto. This hat and Naruto is not even trying really. Momoshiki's really trying, but Naruto just kicks him around, smashing him straight through the village all the way till he gets out of the village. Kinshiki tries to attack Naruto and so does Urushiki. But Naruto instantly flies grabs Urushiki's face and then and goes over to Kinshiki, kicks Kinshiki in the gut while holding Urushiki, and then grabs Kinshiki in the face with his other hand. Then Naruto instantly speed blitz him, slams him onto the ground right next to Momoshiki. And Naruto grabs, uh, throws him up, grabs both of their feet, and begins to spin. Jumps straight in the air, and he throws to him, um, what's it called, Urushiki straight on the ground, and then Kinshiki. And as Naruto flies above them, he activates fully his six pass mode, where he um, fully activates all the nine tail beast chakra and the Gyo statue within him. Even more, when Naruto pretty much becomes the ten tails, um, six pass Jinchuriki, you know, like, uh, Naruto is so stupidly powerful. Stupidly powerful, Kaguya doesn't even come close. And so Mamashiki does this, he sees this, um, this is the opportunity he has right now, this only time. And so with, with um, Kinshiki and Urushiki out, and Mamashiki gets up, he, he throws a massive chakra um, wave at Naruto, but it really does nothing, Naruto just disperses it, and Kaguya, or, or Hinata, is actually just watching from the back. And as Naruto disperses all the water, or all the, um, all the jutsu that, um, What's his name? Chucked at him. Um, what's it called? He begins to absorb. Uh, Momoshiki chucked at him. He begins to absorb Kinshiki and um, Urushiki. They, they were right next to him. And as he absorbs both of them in East Air Chakra, right away, Momoshiki is way stronger than he was in canon. Right at that point. Because Kinshiki absorbed. Not only. Uh, no, Urushiki not only absorbed Sasuke, this new Sasuke with way more chakra. Okay? But he absorbed Taneri's chakra. That's even worse. So the moment Momoshiki absorbs them, not only does he have ten Sagon Byakugan, but he has his own. Re he's got Tomod Renegon on his hands, and this proves a massive problem. Okay, and as Momoshiki comes out, he begins to fight. All the Kage are there, but they're getting beaten down. The fodder they are, yeah, like, like it's just incredible. Like 
the battle is just so much more intense. Sasuke has gone to Neri's garden, it's just Naruto and Hinata, but Naruto tells Hinata to stay out of it. And Hinata says, I can handle it, and Naruto goes, I know, but someone more powerful needs to protect the village if I can't, right? And Hinata smiles and tells Naruto she loves them. And she gives, uh, what's it called, Naruto a kiss and she heads off. And she uh, heads off into the barrier. And this is where Naruto um, smiles. He goes, finally, I don't need to hold back no more. True seeking orbs appear around Naruto's back. And Momoshika's like, <laughs> I finally sense your true power. And as Tenario looks at him with his Renegon, with his Renegon Tensei Gons as well, Naruto turns around. And as he turns around, his, his eyes are way more different. They look more like Ryan Sharing Guns. Both of his eyes look like Ryan Sharing Guns. And as Naruto goes forward, Momoshika's like, What's wrong with your eyes? Your eyes are like Kaguya's. And Naruto goes, Not quite. Both my eyes are Ryan Sharing Gun. I'm in six path sage mode with Ryan Sharing Guns. And this shocks him. This shocks him hard. He's like, how does a mortal get this powerful? And as their battle instantly commences, it's made evident that they're both near equal. And their clash is immense. Naruto tele has to teleport themselves away immediately. So it goes to where the old crater of the Ten Tail Bombs would have been. But sorry, where the um, Nine Tails um, attack managed to happen in the End Valley. And as they're fighting, their Naruto's easily, easily overpowering Momoshiki. Momoshiki's trying, but Naruto uses his ability. Uses his main ability, six pass ability to def um, deflect all the chakra, all the attacks that have been thrown at him. He's able to not only absorb it because, as I stated, um, even though Naruto does not have Renegon, um, his six pass ability was pretty much like Renegon. But now that Naruto has is now all the Nine Tails chakra within him are pretty much come into a Jubi state or Ten Tails state. Naruto is pretty much a Ten Tails for the Nine Tails main avatar, but he has the Ryan Sharing Gun. This is uh, his uh, activation of this power. And so it's easy for Naruto, like, Momoshiki tries, he really tries to attack Naruto, he tries to use everything again. But Kaguya can see the difference in power when Naruto truly goes all out. Everyone can see the difference in power when Naruto goes all out. Now what happens is Momoshiki um, powers thousands of these giant bloody asteroids and meteors and lightning jutsus and throws them at Naruto. Naruto looks up and instantly opens his hands and all the all the jutsu that was thrown from Tenere they instantly get absorbed and compressed straight down to Naruto's hand where he turns it into a chakra fruit. Naruto looks at it and goes, this is how you guys do it. I've been wondering how you guys do this. Momoshiki's looking at Naruto and like, how did you? Naruto grabs the fruit and he eats it. And eating that fruit, Naruto just is overcome with so much chakra. He's like, what the? This is what makes you guys immortal. You guys are so inferior than us. And Momoshiki's like, how dare you call us inferior? We're immortals. And Naruto goes, not quite. If I killed you right now, you you would have to seal yourself within the karma seal, right? Just to transfer your consciousness. Am I to be correct, Momoshiki? Momoshiki's looking at Naruto and being pretty shocked at Naruto knowing these details. And Naruto goes, sorry guys, by the way. <sighs> but Naruto... Just easily explains all of this way like really you're nothing. You're really nothing. The main the main challenge is not you, Momoshiki. The main challenge is Ishiki Yotsuki. So even your karma seals got nothing. Naruto instantly appears and begins to smash Ishiki, Ishiki smash him apart. Uh, Ishiki Momoshiki and Naruto takes all his anger out on him. But then slams him on the ground, beats him down. Naruto summons a real powerful wood star that grabs Momoshiki and Naruto begins to beat him down even more more profoundly um, than he does in canon. Momoshiki has nothing on this Naruto. Nothing. And so, right away, as, to, uh, as Momoshiki is trying to get up, Naruto slams his foot right, uh, his, his, his foot right on Momoshiki's back, creating an entire area. And Naruto flips him over and goes, hmm. And here's me thinking that you'd actually be worth a challenge, Momoshiki. And just to think, in my timeline, it took my son to help to kill you. Now, I wonder if I killed you and took your karma seal, would that affect anything to do within me? Because technically, I'm pretty much a living version to a karma seal. I am the reincarnation of the Sage Six Path Sons, meaning they actually physically followed the Yotsuki's ability to pretty much cheat death 
I am achieving myself. No matter what, if I run out of chakra, I will die. I will always exist. Naruto. Naruto shows the big difference in the strength between him and Momoshiki. Naruto flexes out a, a real, real, real powerful version of a Nine Tails chakra form. And as he ch summons this gigantic Nine Tails chakra avatar, Naruto just is way too powerful. Momoshiki tries to fight Naruto by turning into that gigantic ape like rock monster, but Naruto swipes it away and completely shatters it. Shatters it, tears it apart, and scatters it everywhere. And what happens is, as Naruto does scatter it, he looks at Momoshiki. Momoshiki can't believe just the difference in power. And then Naruto shoots three true streaky orbs through Momoshiki. Momoshi Momoshiki, my bad. <laughs> He shoots three truth seeking orbs into Momoshiki's shoulders, two in his shoulders and one in his leg. And the reason why Naruto didn't do the third one or fourth one is because he'll wait until, him, um, until Momoshiki gets close so he can make Momoshiki listen. And as Naruto pulls Momoshiki down, he tells him he's come from a dark future. A future where you and you and Edishiki win, actually. I just managed to survive because my son's a latent ability with his Jogon. And it's open Momoshiki's eyes like Jogon. And what happens is Naruto slams Momoshiki away. And Momoshiki looking up like, oh, you damn insolent creature, I will. And Kaguya goes, No, you will not. No, you will not. You will not lay a hand on my husband. And this is um, Kaguya and Hinata speaking together. Naruto looks at him smile, and, and what happens is right away Hinata opens her hand. And Momoshiki goes, You can't. It's against our clan's order to kill, kill us. You know that? And then Hinata goes, Against the clan's orders, right? You were only meant to do what you did to Kenshiki and Urushiki if it was truly needed. It wasn't needed. You wasted their lives. And then Hinata goes, What are you doing? And Hinata goes, He doesn't realize that, but I'm sealing him fully. And Momoshiki realizes that he looks at me, and Momoshiki tries, tries to move. But Naruto puts his hand up, and as Naruto puts his hands up, Chakra begins to um, bam well around Momoshiki. And what happens is Naruto as Naruto begins to close his hands, Momoshiki instantly flies towards Naruto. He turns into a chakra fruit. And then Hinata looks at Naruto and goes, What are you going to do with that? And Naruto goes, If I eat this, I could come like monsters like them. But maybe this is the only way for me to defeat. Um, what's it called? Ishiki. And this shocks, shocks Hinata that Naruto is thinking this way. Shocks her so much. And so what happens is, um, Naruto, um, what's it called, eats um, the chakra fruit. And as he eats the chakra fruit, uh, his Ryan Shine guns that he has on both of his eyes permanently stay. Naruto grows horns on his head, much like a Notsuki. And Naruto's in pretty much white robes. Looking like a true Otsusuki, but his Tomo patterns on that look much more similar to Ishiki's um, coat. And as Naruto comes down with all this new massive power that he's just acquired by eating Momoshiki, Naruto looks at Kaguya and tells him, I think I, I now have what it takes to take them out. And while they're doing that, um, as all the villagers start to rebuild, the hidden gets rebuilt anyway. They rehold the tuning exams um, right, out, um, right after, so it takes a couple of days. And so uh, after uh, Momoshiki dies, Boruto looks at Naruto and goes, Are you going to be keeping those horns forever, Dad? And Naruto smiles and goes, And he goes, Really, my son, I have no choice. Have you not noticed, have you not noticed my eyes? And then Boruto goes, Ah, I'm already, I was already used to seeing your eyes change from blue to like a weird kind of green yellow and then a, a bloody green yellow orange tinge with bloody um slips going down like a nine tails and Naruto smiles and he goes you never not you never stop surprising me my son and as Naruto goes over easy as like things for life for him is much easier but something worries Naruto something really worries Naruto he looks down and he, looks, he sees Himawari now when he looks at Himawari um everything's fine for her but one thing she doesn't have is the same lack of chakra control as Naruto did and this shocks Naruto, and when he goes to look at him, um, Himawari, he instantly sees why. Because she's the descendant of both Naruto and Hinata, and pretty much got true Otsutsugi DNA in her, um, poor little um, Himawari has the Byakugan, yes, but it changes from Renegon to Tenseigon. And why I say that is because 
Let's look at it very carefully. Himawari is the youngest um, Huga to activate the Byakugan, and she's very, very powerful for that, okay? Boruto didn't activate the Jogon until like way after, and he had that given to him, okay, in canon. So, just for retrospect, I'm just going to state that Himawari is going to be more special in that um, incline, okay? But I haven't finished when it comes to the. Um, the Jogon. The Jogon has other abilities that Boruto will learn over the over the next coming months. So what happens is, um, as if, as the Hidden Leaf's being rebuilt, Boruto goes and trains with Sasuke for a bit. While Sasuke is here, I'm healing. Boruto goes to sit and learns from Sasuke, and he active and Neji comes and teaches him as well. And Boruto activates the Jogon, and he begins to focus chakra, fully focus chakra as a scalpel on his finger and he does so he sees it but what happens is Boruto knows he, he can do other things with this not just healing you know he can use it for fighting it's all up to him but what happens is as Naruto as Boruto is training when Neji um, Neji instantly um, teaches Boruto all his faults all his failures when he's fighting and what happens is Boruto takes it and Boruto takes this in much more better than he does in his canon self anyway and so as he takes it in he learns the rotation, the um, 100 and, um, 128 um, gentle fist, um, yeah, 128 palm jutsu, whatever, I guess, I guess. He learns all the Hugo abilities, and only that, he learns uniquely Uzumaki abilities. And the flying Raijin, because his grandfather is alive, Minato. And just going to say that Naruto is going to be stupidly, stupidly gonna have a strong son okay and so Boruto learns from Minato all the time being a previous Kage and dead he loves his grandmother Kushina and so yeah if I blow just Boruto over the next two days is training 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 now when it comes to the tuning exams against Boruto versus Minsuski or Min sorry Minsuski Minsuki Naruto tells him don't hold back at the same time do not kill him and Orochimaru smiles at Naruto's approach to his son. And then Orochimaru looks at um, Minsuki and goes, Give it your best. <laughs> and so what happens is um, Minsuki jumps on the, into the arena, and so does Boruto. And as they, as they square off against each other, Minsuki tells Boruto that he's not going to hold back. He's not holding back at all. And Boruto goes, That's fine. Then I will not hold back either. And right off the back, Minsuki goes straight into a sage mode. Well, his greenish blue chakra envelops and begins to project like giant snakes and Boruto smiles he closes his eyes and as he closes his eyes his eyes begin to change into like the turd summoning the turd the tool of uh, the toad summoning um, um eyes he looks more like a sage mode kind of like like Naruto does and as Boruto does this he gets the sage mode opens his eyes and his eyes instantly activate into the Jogon which makes his senses way more ridiculous Way more ridiculous. And when Minsky sees this, it's like incredible, Boruto. And as the proc down, everyone's like looking, like, oh, okay, wow. Here we go. He goes, may the fight begin. And right at the back, um, um, what happens is uh, Minsky tries to shoot out multiple shadow snake um, jutsus um, with the lightning styles, but Boruto's way too fast and he kicks Min uh, Minsky right in the gut, sending him flying. And that's when Naruto instantly appears. And he's about to throw a Rizing, a Boruto um, instantly appears and is about to throw a Rizing on. Right, at, right away, Minsuki instantly uh, reacts, flips over, turns himself into a giant snake and slithers away enough for him to turn back into a normal person. And he chucks multiple wind styles, about five wind styles at, at Boruto. Wind style, Gale, um, Bloody Gale Palm, due to Gale um, Scythe or Slice, whatever, due to it is. And it pretty much um, does nothing really. Boruto is just way too much, you know, like just way too much compared to the other one, yeah, anyone. And so as Min Minsky goes in the stage mode and tries to fight, Boruto is way too fast and his attacks starting to get heavier and heavier and heavier. But what happens is uh, Minsky manages to get a gap and kick Boruto away. And on instinct, Minsky shoots a lightning, uh, dragon, uh, lightning style dragon snake at Jutsu. And as a, as a lightning snake hits Boruto, Boruto opens his hands. And he, as he opens it, what ends up happening, thanks to his unique abilities, with um, having Sage Mode and his two double Jogon, Boruto is able to absorb this entire attack and send it to another dimension. And as Boruto does that, the shocks, just, the level of shock in people's faces is just incredible. 
incredible. And Boruto is just way, way too powerful. Way too powerful. Like, I, honestly, like, I can't even put it down. Like, I feel sorry for Minsky. Boruto just ragdolls him and beats him out straight away. Minsky tries to get up and fight, but Boruto has to end up properly. So he puts a Rasengan in Minsky's back, slamming him down, ending him completely. Not killing him, just ending him, okay? Hear me out. Come on, that'd be so crude. So as Boruto has made the winner of the tuning exams, pretty much, he becomes a tuning, so does his team. And what happens is, as as everything goes, um, keep, continues in life, what ends up happening is a strange event occurs over the hidden leaf. A strange event indeed. And as Naruto is acclimating to his new new life and new form, he's way more powerful. And way more powerful as, he, as, as the Hokage. Him and Hinata are just way more better. But right away, right away as, as they're getting better, a strange, very strange occurrence happens to the hidden leaf. A bright light appears and a gigantic echo of light appears and then lightning starts to happen, begins to destroy some of the hidden leaf. And as Naruto sees this, he puts a barrier around the area using his Ryan Sharingan. He uses a space-time barrier to protect the area. But what happens is, this blinding light that appears is also using space-time, so it doesn't do nothing. This jutsu. So what happens is Naruto is about to rush over, but what ends up happening is, is the portal opens and then Naruto goes, I think I... is that... And the moment that the window op as the portal opens straight away, it's the future Boruto and the future Ishiki come back in time. And what happens is when, when uh, Momoshiki spots them, he's like, ah, Naruto Uzumaki. And looks over and goes, Kaguya. Long time no see, I see, princess. And he, what happened to go? Boruto goes, hm, the stupid turtle. Try to trap us in the black hole. Who does this turtle think we are? We are not stupid. We're not subjects to the stupid insanity of being trapped in a black hole. No. And what happens is Boruto looks at the at the time turtle and instantly puts it under their control and disappears. And he goes, hm, thank you for opening up the welcome wagon there, Naruto Uzumaki. And when Boruto sees himself, he's like, what the? Naruto goes, stay back, stay there. And as everyone sees this, Naruto, without even hesitating, summons thousands of clones and grabs everyone that stands and teleports them away. Everyone, he doesn't even hesitate, eh? And as, Nar as Naruto stands there looking, what happens is Teneri tries to um, contact Naruto, but Naruto goes, it's alright. Protect the moon, protect the world. That's what your job is, in a good way, in a good way, not an angry way. And so as Naruto stands up and faces it against Momoshiki from the future and Kenshiki, uh, sorry, Kenshiki, Ishiki from the future. And what happens is Naruto walks over, Momoshiki tries to attack, but Naruto is, has the Ryan Sharingan, which bl blinds them. They're like, what the hell? They didn't even see this, and this pisses off future Momoshiki that Naruto got this power powerful so fast. And what happens is uh, Naruto kicks Momoshiki in the face and begins to beat him down fully. Mumbo Shiki laughs and goes, ha, you finally given up your facade to not want to hurt your boy, eh? <laughs> How long did it take me to break you, Hokage? What, what was it, five, six, seven hundred years? And as he says, um, um, my opponent says, he gets up straight away and punches him. Punches him so hard in the face. So hard in the face, sends him flying. Naruto goes, you're no longer my son. You're just a vessel from Momoshiki. Naruto goes, take a look at my eyes, Momoshiki. What do you see? Besides seeing past the um, Ryan Sharing Gun with his Renegon, Momoshi uh, Momoshiki, um, see, uh, Momoshiki. Yeah, he sees it. So does Ishiki. And when they see what's in Naruto, they see the power within Naruto, what's really about him. This shocks them. This freaks them out. Naruto instantly, instantly begins to battle. Battle both of them. Momoshiki uh, and uh, Ishi, uh, um, Ishiki are really, really powerful now. And they've been fighting Naruto and they fight for a couple of hours until Naruto creates space and chucks a chakra rod through um, Kawaki or um, Ishiki. The chakra rod pins him and Naruto has a seal at the, at the end of it, which um, envelops an area and pretty much stabs Kawaki in the body, holding him in place, chaining him to the ground and onto the air. Now I'm not going to talk figuratively air that's in between us. I'm talking about just the air in between us, <laughs> pretty much. So, it's just stupid. It is just so, so stupid with how the outcome of this battle is. 
what happens is Ishiki and uh, Momoshiki stand there looking at Naruto and they know they know for this um, for this to win they have to absorb him they have to kill him this time Momoshiki's the only one who notices that um, Naruto has an eternal seal upon him and as he's about to do something Kaguya or Hinata instantly appears and kicks Momoshiki Boruto in the face and it instantly appears it puts a gentle fist right into Ishiki's gut Kawaki's gut paralyzing them briefly and she's and she's able to use a powerful gentle fist to create them and as this happens she um, Hinata goes to Naruto Naruto goes are you right Hinata and he goes yeah but the Kaguya part of me was itching to fight itching to fight them and protect you and Naruto smiles <laughs> that shows that Kaguya does love his sons <laughs> you were wrong old man she always loved these and so right at the back right at the back as as Naruto Naruto um, pretty much not gets up but just walks over um, what happens is Mama Shiki and Ishiki is looking at they just got created by um, Kaguya and as they get up Kaguya uses her um, uses her unique abilities to teleport them away from earth and she teleports them all to an area where um, Hinata or Kaguya can grab a lot of chakra that world where she gets enveloped in chakra and as she does so um, what happens is Ishiki tries to absorb it but Naruto appears and kicks him around right the gut and grabs him and slams him to the ground he tries to shrink down but Naruto teleports away and teleports Ishiki back to the same exact place and slams a Rizengon at him and as Ishiki tries to absorb it Naruto goes what are you trying to absorb and Ishiki realizes that Naruto is not a Rizengon that he's holding over um, Ishiki is it's a big block of lava being held in concentrated chakra and Ishiki realizes that this chakra wasn't this lava wasn't made out of chakra so you can't absorb it so as the lava is about to drop it and he jumps away and hits the ground and mounts it and Naruto goes ah oh, you felt for that took you long enough took you long enough at all and this, and this purses off Ishiki like you just can't believe that this Naruto is fooling with them fooling with them and so Momoshiki and Ishiki work together to try to capture Naruto, try to do something more worthwhile. But having Kaguya there, it's just, they can't do nothing. They really can't do nothing. And so what happens is Kaguya teleports them, teleports them to the lava dimension. And what happens is as Kaguya does that, um, Ishiki and Momoshiki begin to fly and Kaguya is just testing their powers and she transfers them to the ice area. So they almost get caught but Naruto just speed blitzes them eh, and begins to fight fully. Taijutsu Mano to Alien and it's made very clear that Naruto has bridged the gap between him Ishiki and Momoshiki and this shocks them so much they're like what the and then so their battle escalates even gradually Kaguya or Hinata is slightly getting tired and she teleports them back into an area in the land of fire well, there's no one near the area, no one near the fight or the violence, so Naruto doesn't need to hold back. And Naruto gets exactly what um, Kaguya is trying to do. And so what happens is Naruto, without hesitating, without hesitating, begins to beat down on Boruto and Kawaki's body. And Naruto holds him and goes, are you guys going to yield? And they both look at him and go, never kill us, because we're never going to yield. And then what happens is straight away, Naruto just states, is that right? Okay, I have an idea for you. So he's just going to set up a big ass punishment for them. But right at the back, Naruto, Naruto just, he handles them. He's about to, he's about to seal both of them. But what happens is, um, Ishiki uses the ability to shrink and shrinks Momoshiki away. And they teleport away using a powerful time space ninjutsu. Naruto uses his, his own Ryan Sharingan to see where they go and what happens is as his eyes project over there he sees that they jump through another two more portals to another area not far from the sto snowy area where um, Sasuke first met Kinshiki and um, Momoshiki and so as they go there and retreat Naruto um, pretty much explains that, that that's them those two are from the future that's our son right there Hinata and she can see it she can absolutely see it within him and what um, happens is she goes so what am I going to do and Naruto goes I was too weak to want to kill them in my future because I loved them I loved them I loved everything about them Boruto just being so good and Kawaki having a broken life doesn't that remind you of someone Hinata 
And Hinata smiles and understands what Naruto is talking about. And so, what happens is, as everyone goes back to the village and pretty much kind of heals, heals itself anyway, um, Naruto and them try to get to um, build everything up, you know, like try to get everything re right back to where it was. And as this goes down, a portal opens right into the Hokage's office and out drops a mask and a man walks out and when Naruto sees him this man has one eye closed or one eye with closed with a Sharon gun and the other one with a Sharon gun and as he walks out Naruto goes Obito Uchiha I was wondering when you were going to come back and Obito looks at Naruto and he goes well I wasn't supposed to I was sick of Kakashi you know running looking for me i had to be at least five steps ahead of him you know how hard it is to be five steps ahead of kakashi and i had to go yes i do and he goes have a seat and my husband's orbiter is like you're awfully nice to someone that tried to and i had to go understand them from the future yeah i know exactly what you're trying to do for a lost cause that's all you were doing and that thing that's in your chest right and orbiter is looking at naruto and i had to go that's what you came here for right the remove the blind that's on you that uh, that um, um, my daughter has on you and Obito looks at him and tries to nod but the, the blind's holding him there and Naruto goes not to worry walks over to um, walks over to Obito and places his hand on Obito and releases the jutsu releases the seal on his heart and Obito drops he's like what the how, how did you and Naruto goes it's just the perks of being Hokage I guess you could have been Hokage you know if you put your mind to it and what happens is Obito looks at Naruto as buzzing out. And as Obito gets up to look at, look at Naruto, Minato and Kakashi walk in. And as Minato looks out and sees him, and Kakashi sees Obito, Kakashi doesn't want to attack him. Instead he goes, Obito, where have you been? And Obito is looking at um, Kakashi like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Kakashi. And what, and what happens is, um, Kakashi goes, what do you mean Obito? He goes, sorry I blamed you for the death of Rin. If only I just. And what happens is, Kakashi goes, If only you did what? Okay. Naruto already informed to me that you had a seal on your heart to which you did the things you needed to do. Because if you didn't, it would have killed you, correct? And what happens? He goes, Yeah. So what happens is, Naruto, Naruto heals um, Obito fully, and Kakashi and them catch up, and all is forgiven. Naruto goes, to be honest, Obito, I forgave you in the future. It's okay, like this don't strike me bad at all. In fact, this is really good that you're here. Now you can help teach my son properly. And what happens is, um, um, Naruto puts his hand on Obito's head and copies um, the, um, and puts his hand on Kakashi's head and then uses his chakra to merge both their eyes together and split them both into their twos to evolve them both into merging by individual um what's it called mongekios so kakashi has both the um kamui of touch and the kamui um remotely and so does obito but now kakashi and obito could both summon perfect susanos to um, obito's one is more like a pale gray to, to kakashi's um big blue and this is going to play a factor in, in, in what's kind of going to come now as um Ishiki and Momoshiki um, are at and their ba base Ishiki within Kawaki says I have an idea and he goes yeah and he goes I still exist in this time meaning I hold more chakra we can catch up to my old strength Momoshiki and we can take Naruto and all that chakra and all the chakra of this world and Momoshiki smiles at Ishiki and he goes hmm you know um, Ishiki I'm glad we didn't fight all those years I'm glad we got to take over that world. Hmm. Let's go. And so right away, they both use their time space at Ninjutsu and appear right in front of Jigen and his whole Kara organization. Everyone's there. Now, I'm going to state that um, just for my convenience of plot anyway, Kashin Koji is not going to be a part of them because, okay, this is just my my theory, okay, but I believe um, Kashin Koji is like either a clone or a creation of a creation using Jiraiya's cells to make who Kashin Koji is. That's just my belief, 
and one of my status dry still alive he's retired with Tsunade so just for the sake of it Kashi and Koji is not going to be a part of Amado's team and neither is um, um, Ao because he never got destroyed by the Tentail Bomb and so what happens is as um, Ishiki and Mamashiki appear Jigen stands up and sees it and he senses the karma within both of them he's like you and what happens is Ishiki walks up or Kawaki Ishiki walks up to Jigen and goes you know what I've come here for if I'm here correct and at first Ishiki within Jigen is like hesitant he doesn't want to die but realizing this is him from the future and they're just gonna merge chakra he's fine with that right away the Kara tried to attack but Ishiki uh, Ishiki um, Jigen tells them all to stop my Mishiki opens his hand absorbs all the other Kara members and he absorbs, he absorbs all the other Kara members right turns them into chakra fruits and what happens is um, right at the back Jigen tries to say no I can but what happens is Ishiki absorbs the Jigen part that's within sorry the Ishiki part within Jigen and he turns him into a chakra fruit with Jigen's body and as they do that both Mama Shiki and Ishiki eat the chakra fruit and they begin to explode with massive amount of power and as they explode with giant amount of power Ishiki remembers that he has a ten tails in this time period hidden down the bottom and he, uh, he goes to, he, he tells Mama Shiki he'll be back he teleports away and he teleports to where the ten tails is and as he does so his body begins to transform having all that chakra absorbed into him he gets even more powerful and then um, Ishiki opens his hand and begins to absorb um, the ten tails turning that, that ten tails into a gigantic chakra fruit and as he does that what happens is Momoshiki walks out and goes I knew you were going to betray me Ishiki one day and Ishiki's like huh, and to think you were just praising me not so long ago and Momoshiki goes huh, you ever heard the saying keep your enemies close or as in the human terms term keep your friends close but your and Ishiki sees this and the Momoshiki flies right into Ishiki and slams his fist right into Ishiki's gut activating the karma seal fully within Ishiki and he goes what's the saying again Jigen or was it Kawaki or was it Ishiki because this is Momoshiki um, mocking him and goes ah and then because he, he begins to absorb um, Kenshiki, uh, Ishiki Ishiki's trying to fight today but nah Momoshiki turns that um, the future Ishiki and the past Ishiki into one chakra fruit and he begins to eat it and he stores the ten tails chakra fruit away just for a backup now we're having this all this new power right away mama shiki has ryan shine gone on his head he has tomo renegon this all the stupid stupid genjutsu you got tomo renegon on his eyes and renegon's on his hands and he has the ryan shine in the middle of his head with the byakugan you know like he's ridiculously powerful and so after mama shiki does that um the border to part number fully matures into an adolescent or adult part and what happens is the karma cell fully envelops and Momoshiki power is even more increased to the point where he's overboard god form and now he knows he can take on Naruto well now he believes he can take on Naruto so without hesitation Momoshiki um, flies over earth and he takes it in he knows what he needs to do to beat Naruto he needs to scatter Naruto he needs to make sure that he is not um, fully on the battle and so what happens is Momoshiki right away begins to shoot thousands of biju bomb Rasengans everywhere blowing them up everywhere around the hidden leaf hidden sand all those villages and as Naruto looks up and sees this he, he, he tracks the sorry he tracks the trajectory of all the attacks using his range his both of his doju too his Ryan Sharon gun six path jutsu and as Naruto looks up he sees it he sees it as Momoshiki well Boruto Shiki and while they're hesitating he jumps through a portal and as he jumps through a portal, he comes down and begins to kick Momoshiki. And he does, he, he lands a kick. But what happens is it just moves Momoshiki's face. And Momoshiki's like, ah, I'm guessing the tides are turned now. Naruto Uzumaki. And he goes to kick, and what happens right away? Um, Momoshiki kicks Naruto, sending him flying. Naruto crashes right there from down where he was at in hot, top sky into the crater, right near the entrance of the hidden leaf. But Naruto gets up straight away, you know, he was caught off guard at the speed of um, this Ishiki. Or oh, sorry, this Momoshiki. And as Naruto goes back up, he goes, huh, you're quite powerful, Momoshiki. What have you done? 
And Mama Shiki goes, well, let me just explain to you. I absorbed Ishiki from the past, opened his eyes, the entire Kara organization, and the Ishiki from the future. And it shocks Naruto, he steps back, and he goes, just to top it all off, Naruto Uzumaki, Mama Shiki opens his hand, he goes, I want to save this for this moment. He eats the entire um, Ten Tails um, Chakra, and as he does that, he explodes. His body begins to build up to the point where he's, he pops and disintegrates instantly. And as he blows up and turns into a chaotic chakra of fire, earth, wind, water, lightning, light and dark all around him, as it begins to um, um, echo, shatters everything around him, until Mama Shiki comes back down. As he comes back down, he's fully in a different um, um, in mindset or different area entirely. He is the Ryan Sharon gun, but it's a golden Ryan Sharon gun. His Byakugan or his um, Renegon and his Byakugan are to a degree where it's just stupid, you know? His Renegon is even more powerful. Renegon trains between blue and normal and red at any time to help him out. And both his hands have yellow um, Renegon on his hands. And so right away, right away. Momoshiki goes to town or Naruto flies down straight away and begins to beat him down instantly. Hinata tries to interfere using her, her abilities but she's kind of weakened at the state. Naruto sends shadow clones and the Uchiha force to all the other villages to help them out. Naruto and while well, the real Naruto fights this new godly being and Naruto knows that this guy is way more stronger than him. Like what the hell? Way more stronger than what he was. And as Naruto fights he goes huh. How dare you use my son's body like this? And what happens is Mama Shiki looks at Naruto and goes, How dare I? How dare you use the, the source of my people's power? Chakra is coming from my people. Naruto goes, Is that right? Is that why you have to land on planets and absorb the chakra of living things? Is that so? He goes, It's more the chakra from Earth was the chakra from Earth that the Ten Tails from this world stole, meaning you stole chakra from us. And Naruto begins to beat down on him hardcore, eh? Beat down on him hardcore. But Mama Shiki also does the same, begins to beat down on Naruto. It's like a backwards and forth, but Naruto is not, not, um, not no, no pushover. He goes straight into his full, full power, but Mama Shiki is just too much. No matter what Naruto can try, Mama Shiki is just way too much. And this is a vicious, futuristic Mama Shiki that, that, that survived death and come back. What happened is as Naruto is fighting and getting pressed, Sasuke finally appears and begins to battle, but he instantly gets pressed straight away. Chakra Rose gets chucked through him because he's using Momoshiki's ability to, to make things big and small. Uh, sorry, Ishiki's ability to make things big and small, so he chucks hundreds of them. Sasuke gets pinned, and what happens is Momoshiki goes, huh. and because Naruto is also pinned, and he goes, This is it. This is the power of the Hidden Leaf. <laughs> you come back in time for what, Naruto? Just so you can build up your chakra for me. I'm grateful for that. And what happens is to as 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 this Momoshiki powers up this big ass purple Rasengan, or well, Rasen bloody um, tail beast Rasen gigantic nuclear I'm gonna destroy everything bomb. <laughs> he chucks it right at Naruto. Naruto's looking up, and what ends up happening is right at this time, um, Hinata activates the, the full power of her Ryan Sharon gun and teleports it away. And as she teleports the attack away, she completely collapses. Because she was drained of chakra, like everyone's like really knackered, like they're drained of chakra. And so what happens is, Mama Shiki, Mama Shiki is like, is like Kaguya. How interesting! You would you use you risk your life for this? And Naruto looks over, looks over at her and he goes, huh. and to think, looks at Mama Shiki and goes, for a brief moment, my son had had you all under his control. <laughs> and here I am now, the loser then, Naruto leans forward, I'm a loser now, and Momoshiki's like, why fight it, Uzumaki Naruto, you're fighting destiny again, you're just making my clan a little bit stronger, and the moment Momoshiki tries to absorb Naruto, Naruto instantly smiles, goes, <laughs> you fool, Naruto instantly jumps away, and the seal under Momoshiki's feet, or under Momoshiki's area begins to envelop him, and as Momoshiki does this, uh, it's like this Momoshiki does not realize why everyone was so out of chakra. Now everyone in the whole entire hidden leaf 
had in Leaf Village themselves was building up Chakra at the power of the seal. Shadow clones went to go all over the world and because the Uchiha can use flying Raijin, they're everywhere instantly and thanks to the Akamichi and all them too, they go out and help out because they're giants, you know? Man, come on. They're very useful. And so what happens is, as all this goes down, Mamashiki is looking at the, like the granny, trying to absorb the Chakra. But now it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, you absorb too much of that, it'll bind to you. Mamashiki didn't listen and as he started absorbing the chakra, the chakra enveloped his entire body and held him in place. He's trying to absorb it but it's not working. And Naruto goes, this is a special jutsu that I've come up with. I actually created it um, in the future to try and beat you. But I was put in a position where I couldn't even get to use it. So I hope, I hope you like this Mamashiki. And as Mamashiki looks down, the seal is wrapping him, absorbing his chakra and he's like, no, no. Naruto's like, what's the matter? Do you think do you thought you had me? Naruto goes, puts his hands together, and he goes, Divine, Wood Style! And as as Wood Style instantly envelops, grabs Momoshiki and wraps him up completely. Completely wraps him up and the seal connects with all the wood style. And it takes him straight into the takes him straight into the air. And and what happens is um, the chakra the chakra of Momoshiki begins to be drained. And as the chakra begins to be drained, it gets put into the world. Now Naruto flies up and goes Technically, Otosukis can't die, right? Right? Momoshiki's like, I will get out! And goes, what do you mean, get out? Look at your hands, if you can. Look at your feet. Look at your body. Tell me something. Do you believe you'll be getting out anytime soon? And Momoshiki realizes, as he looks up, he is pretty much, he knows what he's in. Naruto goes, huh. And you think, I'm stupid. I'm way smarter than you. What I did was I used the wood style and some of the ghetto statues chakra I have to recreate the god tree of earth. And what happens is Mamashiki is like, what the? And Naruto goes, you're immortal, right? Meaning even when you die, you'll come back and your chakra's back to normal, right? And Mamashiki's like, shh. And Naruto's like, no matter, even if you're not, I have a duty that can help out with that. Naruto closes one that closes his left eye and builds up chakra. And he's like, hmm. He's like, sage art. Looks up and he goes, Renegon. And uses the Renegon, and as Momoshiki sees this, Momoshiki's like, How can you use? But he realizes the narrator has two Ryan Sharon guns on both of his eyes. Again, he keeps forgetting. And so, as Naruto does that, um, the, the internal Izanagi is placed upon Momoshiki, but he's locked within, within this tree. Naruto goes, That seal that's on your chest, that is never coming off. It can never come off. Have you noticed the one on Kaguya? Then you would not notice. This one here uses the death god to tie you to, my, to me at all times. So you can't corrupt me, but I can keep you there. Now forever, this is your punishment, Momoshiki. Momoshiki's like, no, I will. And he goes, you will what? Contact the other Otsusukis. Now I've taken care of that. I'll put a space-time barrier around Earth and this entire solar system. So even if they were to use dimensional travels, they'll never find Earth again. And Momoshiki's like, curse you. And as the tree envelops him, Naruto sheds a tear, knowing that he pretty much condemned his son to suffer eternity in this tree with Momoshiki. But what happens is Naruto, Naruto places his hand on the tree and puts the seal on this new tree, and the ten tails grows fully into a big tree like how Kaguya's tree once was. But instead of draining the chakra of the earth, the chakra is getting st stolen from Momoshiki. And but slowly but surely pumped back into the world, which heals the entire planet. And so with the defeat of Momoshiki, and the defeat of the entire Kara clan thanks to the future Momoshiki, Naruto's like, oh, okay, everything's real change. And as all the Kage um, come to celebrate, they all um, they all denounce Naruto as being the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf, and become the Hokage of the entire world. Because Naruto is truly a, a Kage of the world. In the, in the heat of the battle with Momoshiki, he did not hesitate to send Shadow Clones to help defend all the village. He didn't hesitate to send any of the Uchiha, the Alchemichi, the Nara, anyone to help every village. All the feudal lords, all the lords uh, of the hidden villages all agree that Naruto is not only the, um, the hero of Earth, but the Kage of Earth. The one Kage that all Kage listen to, Naruto. So as Naruto takes his place as the new Kage of the world. He heals everyone, of course. Naruto uses his, his immense abilities to heal everyone and save all the lives that were taken <clears throat> and himself. And Naruto pretty much makes himself a lookout, similar to what Kami does 
in the um well kami has in dragon ball z because kami technically didn't make that lookout it was created way before he came there just just to let you guys know but um um, Naruto makes a lookout similar to what Kami does over the world and there he can see the world Everyone has markers where they can summon Naruto I will, I will ask for help, but Naruto becomes the main Kage of the world and who replaces him on the hidden leaf Naruto has no one else other than Itachi Uchiha become the Hokage And what happens is Itachi goes really and he goes yeah you out of all the hidden leaf sh shinobi deserve it and Naruto goes a lot of people deserved it, but yeah, you did way more. And this makes him smile. This makes Fugaku smile, makes Sasuke smile, and Sasuke thanks Naruto like a brother. He's like, thank you so much, Naruto. And Naruto goes, don't mention it. You're all right. Kushina and Minato embrace their son as Naruto pretty much becomes the, the god of all shinobi, really. And as he looks at his son and his daughter, um, he, uh, he he gives them their blessings. He shows them absolute love and he loves them. The Hidden Leaf is going to be his primary home. That's where he's going to leave his floating his floating area above the hidden leaf. Where the Hokage's monuments are, Naruto is floating way above that area. So as as Naruto settles himself down with his family living on that tower, um, the world goes as peace. Boruto grows up to become a real powerful shinobi. So does Sarada, you know. All the leaves, um, shinobi, all the shinobi of earth grow in peace. Because the immortal guardian Naruto is forever watching, forever there to protect the world. Always. And the immortal guardian on the moon is always there to protect them. And because there's a big empire on the moon with everyone connected, like, Earth flourishes and no Otsutsuki in the entire universe or any universe can find this world. And the Naruto from the future finally can rest at peace knowing that what he did saved a timeline saved the world he finally can rest happy with his eternal wife Hinata looking down at the world he loves so and yeah well this is where I'm gonna leave this one off guys I hope you like this final part of my video anyway I know I was gonna make another one but I saw this was dragging on a little bit okay so just for this I I'm gonna state this is the final one and I'll start my new what offs coming soon, eventually, okay, guys? So I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content. Check me out on Instagram, to which I'm going to leave my link in the description below. And yeah. But as usual, guys, it's the Dr. Kahu saying peace.